your son, the, the programmable logic device guy, I'm going to, uh, write up, um, my design and ask for assistance and give him, I'll start with the big picture and some simple questions so that he can uh, answer them for me. But I think with his work, I can actually implement in hardware the stuff that I've been coding in C. But I've got a couple of servers in the camper now. <laughs> and the package that I just picked up in Gulfport was the uh, second ups for the camper and some LAN cables so that I can actually power on the servers. There's actually a specific language he uses to program the chips. Yeah, and it's a new standard, and I forget the name of it, but... It's what that prototyping device that I saw was using. You, you write a program and it analyzes what parts can be implemented in hardware and then generates the, the hardware language on the fly, programs the, the uh, gate array part of the processor, right. and then your program is a com combination of software and hardware. But you don't have all the equipment to do this and this well, is something weird. I don't have all the equipment to do it and I'm thinking that that prototyping well, they say if you have to ask the price, you can't afford it. Well, um, I think it's more designed for folks like IBM or AMD. Well, well, yeah, he writes professionally and blah, blah, blah. But run it all by him. His wife's having twins on May 5th, so he'll be out of the loop for a little bit there. But I'm quite sure he'll he'll look at it and he'll give you his two cents. Cool. And he'll James teach me whatever he needs to. He'll be okay about teaching me about skew rates and clock speeds and that sort of thing. Because he may not, you may not feel like, you know, teaching me anything. No, as intelligent as you are, you're going to pick it up real quick. Okay. And uh, he shares with me all the time. I've, I've asked him to send me programs so I could look at him to see how you program the chips. Right. Um, I'm sure he'll be open. Again, new twins. His time is going to be... Um, be limited for a little while there. Okay, well, it's going to take me a while to write it all up because right. I'm thinking that it's probably the beginning of the paper that I'm going to end up writing anyway. So even if it's not for prototyping use, it's ultimately going to be used for publishing. Before publishing, though, you would still want it run by James to see if... Oh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll have it in operation before I publish, for sure, because there's and, um, is, prize is, money associated with it. Is, uh, is Pete going to be a co-author? Certainly. <laughs> Why am I being filmed? You gonna blackmail me now? Um, I did not have sex with that woman. Um, well, that de depends on what you define sex <laughs> as, because I've it had sex with my sister-in-law lots and lots of times. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I've had sex with my sister-in-law more than I've had sex with my wife. Actually, yeah, we all have that woman that we have sex with. <laughs> yeah. It um, depends upon what the meaning of is is. Right, and. The other thing it was today, I just realized that my my algorithm might have an application in quantum computing. All right, we're getting way ahead of ourselves. Well, no, I'm thinking that's phase two is the quantum computing because if the hardware implementation of my algorithm is fast, the quantum version will be instantaneous. Well, obviously, hardware is going to be extremely fast. Right, but the whole thing about the tri-state, you know, logical true or false are... Um, not not there. That's quantum mechanics, where you can have, you know, a multi-state multi uh, existing simultaneously um, among the different qubits. Again, this is senior engineer James' world. Right. 